Finally got this thing completely fixed. I got to put the battery cover back on it. Y'all know I was having trouble with it missing. Started last fall. Took from the fall till May to figure that out, get that fixed. Very, very frustrating, aggravating on that. Finally got that fixed. It ended up being a wire on the fuse block was backed out and it was set there and just rattle against it when it was touching and not touching. That's what was causing the missing. Also, I was having trouble with it not wanting to charge too. And the problem with that is it's got a 12 volt fan, cooling fan for the hydraulic cooler. And once it gets up to a certain temperature, it automatically kicks on. When it kicks on, it's pulling off the battery. If the battery is not charging, that 12 volt fan is running pretty dang good. It don't take but about three hours to pull that battery down enough to where it just, the uh, machine won't crank no more. That's what was happening. I didn't see anything about it because uh, I just didn't want to hear, you know, the, the people saying in the comments, you need to get rid of it and blah, blah, this, you know, you need to take it, you know, take it back. They need to give you another one. It don't work like that in the equipment world, people. It, it, it just don't. You just, you tough it out, you get it fixed. Sometimes problems takes a while to get it fixed. But it was so bad with it being hot like it, you know, hot temperature like what we was having. The fan on it would pretty much run all the time. Well, uh, before it got really hot, I was actually taking the battery out and carrying it with me back home, charging it at night, putting it back in there. I could get through the day like that. But once it got really hot, you see my Polaris generator, I was carrying it in the back of the truck. You see the little battery charger over there beside the trimmer, a weed eater. So if the machine wasn't running, I had that in the back of the truck, I'd crank it up, plug the battery charger up to it, charge the battery where I could get through the day. That was very, very aggravating. I uh, took it back and forth to them. They had it two, three weeks at a time, sometimes till I, till I banked up on stumps. And then I was like, man, I got to come out there and get it. And I'd get it. I mean, they were great to work with. Uh, tracks flushed, you know, that's where it came from. Great to work with. It's just one of those problems. So, I uh, went through like two or three alternators on it. Uh, figured out one of the problems was the voltage regulator, but what ended up being the real problem, there's a lot of parts put on this thing too. It had, uh, I don't know, two or three different alternators put on it. Uh, the control panel was changed out. Of course, none of that was it. Uh, what it was, was right here. You see this thing I got in my hand right there? That little, little thing is a plug-in. Is all it is. It's a deadhead style plug in. Cut the screen over. I can see inside of this black piece right here on the end is a diode, and that diode just creates a connection from the red wire to the blue or purple, whatever it is, inside there. So that diode, one of the wires on this end of it over here it broke off now i'm gonna say you see this thing is just this plug here where you can plug in to for the motor right here and this they just dangle they're not connected to anything and i don't know if the vibration from the machine because look stunt grinders man when you're grinding the vibration is uh, very violent so I don't know if that helped contribute to it or not. I'm not sure, but what I am going to do is I'm going to take this thing and I'm going to stand it up and I'm actually going to zip tie it to this wire loom, this harness right here. I'm going to zip tie it to that where to hold it. I'm also going to lock this one down too so I don't have any issues uh, with it there. But just a short video. Thank goodness the dogs are quiet. I fed them a while ago so they weren't kicking up no noise. But uh, I ground six stumps with it yesterday. I actually got it back yesterday. They had had it for two more weeks and a day. And they contacted me yesterday morning and uh, said they had it ready. Went out there, picked it up. Because what, what it'll do is, man, when you crank it up within just a second or two, it shoots up to about 14, 14, 2, 14, 3 volts to charge the battery. And again, if that 12 volt fan's running on it over, man, it's it's pulling the dog out of it. And if the battery's not charging, it don't take it long to uh, to kill it down. And so once we figured out the the missing problem, then 
And then I was having issues with the with the alternator not wanting to charge because it was kind of overlapping. Those two problems were overlapping one another. And uh, when I figured that out, it actually quit on me in the neighbor's yard. And I actually had to borrow his battery charger. I didn't have one with me to uh, to charge it up and put it on a, on his charger for, I don't know, an hour and a half, two hours to get enough juice in it to crank it up to get out of his yard. And that's when I was like, okay, well, we got some alternator problem. We got something going on with the alternator. But, uh, yeah, so she's all good now uh, <laughs> and what have you. But there was uh, some several months from november of last year till september this year uh, a lot of frustration on on that thing but you can't get mad you can't get you know i mean you can get mad at the dealer or you know the mechanics or whoever but it's not gonna do you no good if you get mad and you start fussing to them and they they can refuse to work on your stuff and i ain't doing you know i'm not doing that uh, i just bear with it man and and they'll, they'll get it figured out, you know, eventually. It'll finally hit hit on the right thing. But she's all done now, so I'm about to hook up to my trailer. It's only like uh, it's 9, 9.30 at night. A big job me and Gabe's going to while y'all watching this thing. Me and I'll be on it. Yeah, boy. All right, we'll catch y'all later. Appreciate y'all watching. Later, taters.